What is going on guys? This is Jagnol back again with another video and today is the day where we're going to find out which team I'm going to be playing as in my first ever Dynasty for EA College Football 25. I feel like we might as well just commit now so that we can just go ahead and, and prepare for what we're going to be doing now. I decided to show off my, my terminology by going into a tier list. So um, there's a few different things, so I'll go into what this means in a second. But yeah, we're going to go through all these teams, and I'm going to rank them based off of the tiers that I put them in. And then we'll then elevate a few schools into the finalist tier, and then we will eventually pick the team that I'm going to be playing as in my first dynasty. So you will get to see my whole process. Um, if you do want to skip to the end, you'll be able to see which team I end up picking. Also, this isn't going to be my only dynasty, so I probably will do multiple. I don't know when I'm going to stop after I, I do this first one, but it, it's mainly just going to be the first dynasty that I do. And in terms of uploads, when you expect me to upload these videos, I do have a series that I plan on doing when we get close to the football season. Um, that is going to involve your direct input. So stay tuned for that. So subscribe if you want. You don't have to. But if you do, that's great. I would, I would appreciate it. Um, you hit the like button, comment. Just be, you know, just l let me know what team you're doing your dynasty. I know last uh, few videos I have asked your top three. What is your team? You guys need to commit. What is your team you're doing your dynasty with? You guys got to let me know in the comments. Um, but I plan on doing these, like, dynasty videos usually, like, once a week. Maybe it'll be a live stream. Maybe... Um, it'll just be like a longer form content, um, but I don't want to be just like a menu merchant. You know, I, st I still I want to play the game. I want to have fun. I don't want to just do like, oh, this is the update that came out. That's why I didn't do a video on the gameplay, you know, deep dive or whatever. Not the gameplay deep dive. The uh, the more gameplay we got, because I think Bordeaux already did a great job, you know, showcasing what he was doing. He had like all the uh, gameplay that wasn't even in the actual video. So um, if you do want to watch that, I would check out his channel um for that kind of content but i just wanted to go and jump into the meat and potatoes so the tier list so let's look at these tiers so my terminology is first off um i do have a preference for a group of five schools over power four just because power power schools are going to be easier to play as and group of five schools are going to be a little bit more difficult and i think that would give you a lot more upward mobility um so that's the first tier so i do have a preference towards group of five schools and then also, they need to have good uniforms. So the thing is, is like, yeah, like I know there's some schools that are like at the low end, and I'll get into that in a second, but I don't think their uniforms look good. And if I'm gonna be recording and uploading these this kind of content, I at least want to look good while doing it. And also, I wanna have a passion for this school. Like I wanna really dive into the, the, the entirety of this school. So that's really the whole breakdown behind it so and then i also have a two good tier so like if the team's just too good i'm just not even gonna like even you know we're just gonna go in we'll just go ahead and jump into it okay so first we got lsu lsu is gonna go in the two good tier two good tier um yeah i just think they're too good um i would put them in the good unis if or uh, power four good unis if they weren't too good but i just you know we, we'll, we'll see and it looks like this tier list is in order based off of conference so we're just gonna be going through all the sec schools and then ACC, then Big 12, and I think Pac... I don't know why I said Power 4. Is there only Power 3? I don't know. So, yeah, that's kind of what we're dealing with. So, yeah, let's just go. So, next up we have Auburn. Um, Auburn, I will say, they have meh uniforms. I'm not a huge fan of Auburn's uniforms. I know some people are going to be, like, a little upset about that, but, yeah. Same with Arkansas. I think they're really basic. Uh, Bama's too good. Texas A&M... I think they're going to be too good as well in this game. I just have a feeling. Uh, same with Oklahoma. Well, actually, Oklahoma, I'm going to put them in the May unis. Because, again, like there, there's a lot of classic uniforms. But, well, I, mm, wait, wait. They do have some pretty clean alternates. So, I will put them in the good uniforms. Texas is too good. Ole Miss is, like, the top of the Power Four uh, good uniforms they are they have some really cool uniforms mississippi state meh georgia's too good florida has some great uniforms i'm gonna be honest um kentucky also has some excellent uniforms tennessee has great uniforms but i think they're gonna be too good vanderbilt's uniforms are kind of clean i kind of like the way that they rock with it so I i'm gonna put them in the good uniforms same with south carolina missouri same there um okay so now we're going into the uh acc so clemson i think clemson's too good Georgia Tech, I think they have good uniforms. Florida State's too good. Miami's too good. Um, Syracuse, 
not a huge fan of their uniforms to be honest i mean it's orange and like dark blue and it's just yeah it's i don't know i just i'm just not the huge, biggest fan of it boston college i think they just remind me of florida state to be honest um so just kind of meh uh yeah unc very very good uniforms they are very much uh good school in comes of that duke is pretty basic w wake forest is pretty basic nc state has really good uniforms i like those i do like virginia too i like the way that they do like their their orange and that their navy like they really do it better than like what syracuse does and i also like their fonts that they use virginia tech also has really good uniforms this might be a hot take but although i do like pitt's uniforms like the colors I just don't like the font at all on their on their jerseys, so I'm putting them in the meh. Louisville has some very good uniforms. I I say they're very good, and this also isn't like a this is better than this. This is just a the entire list, so it's not like Ole Miss is better than UNC and you know o Oklahoma is better than Florida. So I'm just throwing them in this list. So don't worry about that. SMU also has some really good uniforms. I like their their Dallas uniforms, pretty clean. Cal no, Stanford no, like no I, I don't mm -mm. kansas yes kansas has good good uniforms baylor did have some decent uniforms back then like in the early 2010s where they had like those chrome helmets and then they like updated it to a more basic style and then they like changed themselves to look like green like the green bay packers so because of that no uh kansas state i just think it's super basic texas tech did get some new uniforms but again i'm not really well i don't know nah nah houston has some good uniforms byu has some good uniforms cincinnati has some good uniforms ucf has some good uniforms oklahoma state has some good uniforms west virginia just had some new ones Ooh, tcu just updated their uniforms and i'll be honest guys they're kind of a miss they're kind of a miss, so I'm putting TCU in the meh. Like, I like them, but I also think, like, they downgraded, so that's that's kind of a, an L. Arizona, I think, is just kind of basic. Arizona State's definitely up there. Utah. I'll put Utah there. Colorado, I guess they're clean. I guess they are. I do like their white on gold. Like, those, those uniforms are clean. Iowa State did just change up their uniforms. However, I do think they kind of missed. I don't like them as much as the old ones, so I'm putting them in the meh. Okay, Ohio State's too good. Michigan's too good. Michigan State, clean uniforms. Penn State's too good. Maryland has some good uniforms. I was going to put Rutgers in the good uniforms, but honestly, they're just super basic. It's just like, you know, I don't I, I don't think there's anything crazy about it. UCLA definitely has some good uniforms. USC, I think they're going to be too good. Um, I don't know if Washington's going to be too good. I think they kind of like... I'm not saying they fell off, but I don't think they're going to be as great. So I'll, I'll put them... They have clean uniforms. Um, so I'll put them in the good uniforms. Oregon, although they would be at the very top of their uniforms, they are too good. Illinois, nah. Northwestern, nah. Indiana, nah. I just don't like them. Purdue, I actually do like Purdue's uniforms. Wisconsin, no. Minnesota did just get some new uniforms. Um, my teams just went off. Uh, sorry about that. Um... Yeah, so next up we have Iowa. So Iowa, I would put, I would put, the, I think Iowa is good. Well, ah, that's tough because like, I think Iowa's like, they had some cool alternates, but I also think they just look too much like the Steelers. So but with that being said, I'm out. <laughs> um, Nebraska, like Nebraska's on the same level. I, I don't know, not a huge, like, I think they're, fine but they're they're just like i don't know it just i'm not like blown away by their uniforms oregon state has some good ones washington state has some very sneaky clean um uniforms so those are the last of the power four i guess you can i guess for example i guess that washington state and oregon state are technically power schools but barely um yeah so that's that's where we're at with that um so we just went through the big 10 the sec the acc um big 12 so i guess i guess big their power four is just you know what i'm saying okay so now we're going into the group of five schools so this is where it's gonna get interesting guys so just because these schools are down here does not mean they're out of the running it's just gonna mean like they they're gonna have to compete with you know the group of five because that's gonna be it. um memphis they got some great uniforms they're awesome like i think they're a super strong candidate here because I like the way that their helmets look. I like how they have, like, I think a black uniform. 
white, gray, blue, like all these different colors, and they like mix them all up. I love them. UAB, although has a great logo, I'm not a huge fan of their uniform. Same with Temple, same with Navy, same with Army. I do think Navy and Army have really great uniforms when they play each other. However, just their basic home and away uniforms are just, I don't like them. So I'm just putting them in the meh. Um, USF, same. I think USF has the potential to have some really good uniforms. I don't like their slime green uniforms at all. I think they're disgusting. I think if you're going to do a neon green, you, it just doesn't work for USF. I do think they need a redesign badly. Same with FAU. I don't like the way that they do it. Like, for having blue and red, it just doesn't match really well at all. Um, Tulane. Very, very good uniforms. I love their uniforms. Like, the way that they do their green, their blue, um, all that. I think they have some in immaculate uniforms. Um, ECU has some good ones as well. Um, once I saw them in the gameplay, I think, deep dive or the Dynasty deep dive and saw those chrome helmets, I immediately put them in the good uniforms. Charlotte's kind of meh. Rice is definitely meh. Uh, UTSA. I'm just going to go through this. North Texas. Nah. Tulsa. Ooh, Tulsa. I, okay, I'll put them in the good uniforms. I, I, I was, they're on the edge, but I kind of like their, the gold and the, the blue that they rock. Uh, kind of clean. I do kind of like it a lot. Uh, Middle Tennessee love it now there are two tennessee schools that i'm gonna have to pick between but uh we'll we'll get there when we get there uh western kentucky i love their uniforms i think they have really good ones sam houston meh. uh new mexico state utep louisiana tech jacksonville state i hate jacksonville state for what they did to fsu two like three years ago when i was a senior that was that was the worst that was the worst thing that's ever happened to me um just kidding but anyways uh kennesaw state I I don't like their uniforms, to be honest. Very basic. I think this is Delaware State. I don't think they're in the game yet, so I'm going to drop them. And I think there's another team. Oh, this one. I don't think they're... I think this is Montana State. I don't think they're in the game yet. Liberty. I think Liberty has some good uniforms. FIU. I was going to put them at the good one. They have those Miami Vice. But I think they're just standard kits are just not good. Or, no, I don't say not good. I just think they're meh. I just think they're meh. NIU... Ball State, okay, these Mac schools, I'm sorry, it's going to kind of be a little rough for you guys. Central Michigan, Western Michigan, Eastern Michigan, I do think it's kind of cool because they have the gray field. Like, I am taking in consideration a little bit of their aura, so like, is that what they say now? <laughs> um, so like, for example, if they're really good at, you know, if they have a good stadium or a good atmosphere, their field is cool. Um, Buffalo, I think that Buffalo has uniform, good uniforms, I don't know why they use that logo. Bowling Green. Nah, not a fan. Uh, Akron, nope. Kent State, nope. I know these were two, like, a bunch of schools that people were considering, but guys, the uniforms have to look good. Iowa, not Iowa, Ohio. Why did I say Iowa? Ohio. Miami of Ohio, meh. Toledo, I just love the Rockets. The Toledo Rockets, such a, such, such a cool logo, or, yeah, such a cool, like, um, I guess mascot, so I like that. Troy, although they have a cool, like, mascot, I just... Not a huge fan of their uniforms. Same with Louisiana. Same with Southern Miss. Same with Texas State. Um, is this South Alabama? Arkansas State. Yes, they're good. ULM, no. Marshall? I don't know. It's like either Marshall or Eastern Michigan, and I, I prefer the gray field. James Madison. Yes, they are very clean. Old Dominion? Nah. Coastal. Absolutely. I love their little teal field that they got going on. App State. All right, we are putting them in the meh. I know people are gonna be really upset about that, but I don't know. Teams that just wear black on black is just I don't know. I, I. Well, okay, okay. Now I have to think about this because they their stadium and their atmosphere is like okay. Just because of like they're in the Appalachian Mountains, I'm putting them in that tier. Uh, Georgia Southern, nah. Georgia State, nah. Oh, they. I wonder what which stadium Georgia State is. Are they gonna put in that old Brave Stadium? San Jose State, kind of clean uniforms. San Diego State, kind of clean. I mean, honestly, not kind of clean. These are really clean uniforms. Awesome, actually. Fresno, me. Air Force, me. Um, Colorado State, nope. Don't really have a huge, you know, desire for them. New Mexico, I played with them in NCAA 14. They're not bad, but yeah, not not blown away. 
Boise State, absolutely. That is like the one of the easiest answers here. Um, very clean uniforms. They got the blue turf. Very good. Uh, Utah State has some sneaky good uniforms, but it's just like blue and white though. They do have black too. Hmm. Hmm. I think this list is getting kind of okay. I will only put. Okay, no, my next one is gonna piss a lot of you guys off. Wyoming. Wyoming, yes. Wyoming has some good uniforms. I know people think that, like, brown can never be a good color. They somehow make it work. Also, like, just having Laramie, you know, be, like, one of, like, that's, like, a tough place to play, and that's super windy. I don't know if that's gonna be in the game, though. Like, have you seen, like, Wyoming's win percentage at home? It's pretty incredible. Like, they beat Texas Tech last year. They have a cool feel, too. I like the, their design. Overall, I like him. I, I think they're good. So that's going to keep Utah State out because I'm playing Wyoming. Hawaii, meh. UNLV, meh. Nevada, Notre Dame's too good. UConn, no. UMass, definitely no. And then last but not least, we have these two. They're not in the game, so we will leave them out. So we are now down to our... our these are, our say, our finalists. So if there's any Power 5 schools I would elevate, it would probably either be... UCF, or I'm trying to think, maybe SMU and maybe Kansas, but I think I'm gonna stick to my guns. I'm going with a group of five school because that's just the way to do it. I I think with, that's the true way to do your first dynasty. So let's just keep going. Um, so let's 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 just go down the list and who would I want to up uh find get it to a finalist? Memphis, yes. Tulane, yes. ECU, you had a good run, but nah. T Tulsa, you had a good run, but nah. Middle Tennessee, I can only do one school from each state. That's a rule I just made right, right now, so sorry, Middle Tennessee. Western Kentucky, mm, I... Mm, Arkansas State, because of their fountains too. Coastal, ooh, this is tough. I'm at a point where, like, I... Okay, so then I'm, I'm going to go... I'm going to put up the teams that I want to... Ooh, I'll do San Jose, and then I'll do Boise State. Those are my finalists, and then I'll start to, like, relegate teams as I go. So, these are the finalists. So, we have six of them. We have Memphis, Tulane, Arkansas State. So, a big trend here is most of these schools have blue. And, fun fact, that is my favorite color. Uh, I love blue, favorite color. Um, although I am an FSU fan... Um, I just love the color blue, so I, I do have a bias towards them, and obviously, like, when I played as Florida State, like, I'm constantly seeing garnet and stuff, so, you know, I, I just think red is a very common color when it comes to colleges, um, I feel like there's a diversity, though, I'm realizing when looking at these logos, but I do think that blue is my favorite, and I love all shades of, of blue, especially, like, the teal, because, like, I'm, I'm a Jags fan, too, that's, that's one of Jagnall, right? Um, and, and Tulane, although they don't have, like, blue as their primary, I do like their green. Like, it just works really well. Like, the green and blue just works well. Um, uh, in Arkansas State, I just think they're, they're black and red. Like, their logo is really good. They have a really good logo. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to relegate you first. Their water fountains are nice, but that's about it. Um, next up, who am I gonna... San Jose State, I'm gonna have to drop you because although you have really good uniforms... I don't have any connection to San Jose State. I don't really know, like, what they are as a program. And I really want to dive into it. So, now we have the top four. Okay. Top four, top four, top four. Okay. Who is next to go? I am going to drop Coastal. Although I do like... I think Tulane and Coastal is who I was deciding between. And although I think Coastal has a cooler field, I think Tulane just... I don't know. I, I think Tulane just being in New Orleans is nice i i think their logo is a little bit cooler i just like tulane a little bit better in this case so now we have our top three memphis tulane boise state so i think i'm gonna drop i'm dropping tulane and we're between memphis and boise state and this is really coming down to a few things I think I've made my decision, but their uniforms, both of them are immaculate. I think Memphis has incredible uniforms. I also think Boise State has incredible uniforms. But 
I think one team, one team has made me fall in love with college football over the past, you know, 15 years. Um, and that team is going to be Boise State. So Boise State is going to be my team that I'm going to be doing a dynasty with. So let me explain. Um, while Boise State is a top, is a higher tier group of five school, um, I do think Boise State has a lot more upper, upward mobility and they have a lot that's kind of stacked against them because they are in Idaho. So recruiting might be a little tough. However, they have like over just in real life, they've done a lot of cool things to put them on the map, you know, putting in the blue turf, you know, decades ago, decades ago to make them like, you know, market their program. And then also what they did in like the 2000s and 2010s just really shows like even a small school in a small state can still build their way up from when they won that fiesta bowl against oklahoma where they had all those trick plays to you know then being ranked in the top three i think a few years later once like the kellen moore era started do you know that kellen moore went 50 and 3 as a starter at, at boise state which is insane like that's an incredible record like i don't think anyone has that record it's that's an incredible so and then i think hit like they beat oregon back-to-back -back years and then they also like they beat they went to they beat virginia tech in their backyard i think they played in like wash like washington dc and they went there and beat virginia tech and then a year later they went and beat georgia and atlanta like those were like the craziest things ever like boise state was the team that really was like showing that hey you know even a small school could win and i think they were one of the bigger pushes for like the playoff in the early 2010s like hey like let's give these teams a shot because maybe they can actually win um so i just think i just love everything they stand for they really were a, a david versus goliath in a lot of these games and, and a lot of their history and obviously they are now a, a higher tier group of five school and I think that's going to help me out because, again, I'm not the best at the game. I haven't played it. I've been playing a lot of Madden 24 just to feel what the game would be like because I know the game is not going to play like Madden really at all. I do think it will play more like Madden 24 than NCAA 14 just because they're on the same engine and that game, other game was 10 years ago. So I'm trying to learn how to do it. Um, and again, I don't want to be a menu merchant. Um, I do want to, you know, be able to win and do this with the game, with the, you know, with our team and, and make some great content and play on the highest difficulty. So I, I don't want to be like just getting destroyed forever. And, and I do want to give you guys some education, not educational, uh, uh, entertaining content, uh, about this game. So yeah, that's the team I'm going to be going with. So let me know what you guys think, uh, what, my, what, what you guys think about this pick, uh, I'm sure there will be some interesting comments down below, but other than that, this has been Jagnal. Other than that, I will see you guys next time.